book, an evil book. I'm writing an evil book, and it's called The Inferno. Thank you, Wally. Chris, I don't see me, bro. That was your divine punishment for writing such an evil book. Now I will take you through the seven le levels of literary hell so you may witness the true literary evils. What? Not again? Man, you crazy! He's not crazy, he's just from the first circle of hell. This is reserved for people who dare to write in other languages than English. And for that sin, he is forced to speak Chinese for all eternity, a language just as incomprehensible. Wait, but how are we supposed to understand him? Why don't we pray for a miracle? Whoa! Captions! <laughs> My name is Aeschylus. I use the Shiyah or the Oresteer. But I don't use English. But I now think that this sentence, if I say it so hard, I don't want to tell you about it, okay? He is Aeschylus. Wait a minute, isn't this punishment a bit racist? I mean, I'm Italian too. I write Italian. Silencio! You must not show no pity for the people that are in hell. Now, on to the second level. Look, we've arrived at the gymnasium of hell. What? Whoa, what's going on down there? That is the second circle of hell. The circle for those who were too verbose in their writing. Their punishment is to be drowned for all eternity. That guy over there is Charles Dickens. I see. So the punishment of those who drown their readers with words is to be drowned by water in death. Wow, who do you think you are, Captain Obvious? Well, enough of that. Wait, what's going on over there? This is the third circle of hell. It's for authors who wrote unnecessarily long series. No, of course. Slow down a bit. Who are you? Oh, I'm T.A. Applegate, the author of the Animorphs series. In life, I wrote a never-ending series of books, so in hell, I'm due to run around a never-ending track. Dang, that's harsh. Fool, don't take pity on those who have sinned. Great rolling. Aren't you the one who wrote seven books and five movies just to tell us over one TV? Hey, hey, shut up. I didn't ask for your opinion. Hop on. <sighs> Whoa, dang, this maze is confusing. Hey, let's talk about some quarantine politics. Oh no, let's not. Oh! oh. Whoa, why did you get stabbed? <laughs> My name is Cormac McCarthy, and I wrote a book called All the Pretty Horses. It's a book where 150 pages of nothing happens, and 150 pages of nothing continues to happen. Because of, I've tried avoiding the point during the whole, my whole life, I had, I've been forced to wander this maze forever and gets stabbed by the same points that I tried to avoid. Dang, oh. maybe I should include less random political tangents in my own book! Wow, you're learning very fast. Now we must descend into hell proper. We don't need this broomstick anymore. To get there, we need this magic carpet. Whoa, how does it work? Well, I'll show you. You just sit on it, and you make vroom noises. Vroom, 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 vroom! vroom. Oh, 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 hey, what's 
what's this? Ah, uh, it's crushing me. <gasps> Whoa, why is that guy getting crushed underneath a bed? And oh my god, what's that demon doing on top of it? Oh, you see, we're in the fifth circle of hell now. It's where authors wrote about grotesque subjects. Why don't you ask him what his name is and what he did? Hey, buddy, what's your name? What did you do? I'm John Irving. I've been condemned to be trapped underneath this bed while demons perform unspeakable acts on top of it for all eternity. And all, all because I had to write a book where the same scenario took place. Wait, let me get this straight. You! wrote a book where people were trapped underneath a bed while other people were performing the act which cannot be named on top of it. Yeah, specifically children. Little children were trapped underneath. Ew, you are a one sick fudger. It is good that you show no pity. Take my magic wand and slay him. Avocavatra! Uh, don't chase me, bro. Now. <clears throat> All right. Now let's move on. There's still much to see. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa. Whoa. This place doesn't seem so hellish. Oh, look, a delicious apple. Oh my god, it tastes like blood. That's because you're feasting on Virgil himself. Him, like all other poets, have transformed into apples and other fruits because their, their rhetoric was so fruity in life. And also, because of their use of language, they are now mute. Wait, but I'm a poet too. Does that mean... And this will be your fate as well. <laughs> no, I promise I'll change. I'll never write poetry again. We'll see about that. But Florida, I'll write this photo as a comic book. Wow, we'll see about that then. No. On to the next level of hell. No. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. Oh. Where are we now? Well, we're, we're about to enter the seventh level of hell. The magic carpet will be no longer of use to us. We must take the stairs. Ah! So what is the seventh circle? Well, there's only one man in the seventh circle of hell, and his punishment words cannot describe. You will have to see for yourself. Behold, William Shakespeare. Ready, go! Whoa, he escaped. Not even hell itself can hold Shakespeare. Oh.